Well, this is the address. Says to take the elevator. Guess there has to be one around here somewhere. I can't believe I'm doing this. How desperate can you get? Hello? Anybody home? I saw an ad for Models Wanted. Is anyone here? Ah, guten Tag. Yes, yes. <laughs> Perfect. Follow me, my dear. Hello, Miss... Uh... Pamela, and your name? Ah, a lovely name. I am Hans, <laughs> but Miss Pamela, names matter little here. No, no! You and I are about to make history! This will be the greatest photo shoot the free world has ever seen! That's... great. And that's only worth $40? <laughs> Miss Pamela, one must not put a price on the changing of a world. Right, of course. Okay then, uh, where do you want me? Inside the closet lie the tools for the building of a new society. My, uh, what now? The clothes for the photo shoot! <laughs> Please, put them on and then meet me out here and we shall begin. Soon, no one will remember my name as Frankenstein, and will soon know me as Hans Photostein. And hopefully forget about the criminal charges. Hey, uh, Hans? Yes. Yes, my dear? Which one of these dresses did you want me to wear? Dress? Dress? <laughs> no, no, my sidekick. No dress. The pillow. Put the pillow underneath your shirt. Uh, okay. Oh, wonderful. Just wonderful. Please, my dear, make your way to the set. Just follow my instructions and we shall be famous.
Now, uh, make your way to the washer and pose for me. Look straight into the camera. Stare into it as you are staring straight into the eyes of your great school bully who has just taken your last nougat bar and tell him um, to... Uh, to... Um, uh, to, to, uh, to go yodel his mother. Excellent! Now, uh, now go over to the couch and look at it with the remorse you would feel if you, uh, if you had created a monster made from corpses and given it life, inadvertently causing it to destroy a whole village and cause you to flee forever from your homeland. <clears throat> yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah! Okay, now the moment of truth. Halt! Someone is at the door. They don't lose your energy. <laughs> I shall return. Who's there? Hans, is that you? It's Jeff, you know, from the factory. Hey, I heard that you quit last week. Hope you're doing okay. I kinda miss you now that it's just me and the lung cats. Well, give me a call soon, man. Maybe we can get a drink and watch the game sometime. Hope you're doing well. I'll see ya.
the Pentagon, make your way towards the Fun Side Carnival. You will receive further information upon your arrival. a single kiss and I can tell you how you will die. So what's the plan, boss? This doesn't feel like a homework assignment. You gonna fill me in on why two journalism students are at a murder scene on a school night? Just do what you're paid to do, Clyde. But I get paid nothing. Right, so do nothing and stay quiet. Come on, Gail. From a somewhat friendly acquaintance to a somewhat friendly acquaintance, why are we here? <sighs> ah, is this about Pamela? Yeah. I, I don't understand. You think this is related? I don't know anything, Clyde. That's why we're here, to ask around, see what exactly happened. I have a bad feeling about this. I hope I'm wrong, but... I don't think Pamela was the last victim of this psychopath. Alright, fine. Snoop around. I'll get some shots of the Ferris wheel or something. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Clyde. I really do appreciate you coming with me. Whoa, sorry kid. 
there's sort of a murder investigation going on right now. You'll have to wait until tomorrow to get on the rides. I'm not a... Look, officer, who's in charge here? Why are you asking? I think I might have some important information. Oh yeah? I doubt that. But lucky for you, I don't give a shit. So go on in. Look for a fat guy with a cigar. That's Detective Dutch. Big Mo don't like this one bit. Cops crawling all over my business like ants to a goddamn picnic? Looks like I need to ditch the carnival game. Find something more peaceful like... a strip club or something. <laughs> Gerald was my best friend. He was ordering a soft pretzel for me. How could anyone do this to him? He's never heard of flying. He was the nicest man I knew. I hope those cops catch whoever this psycho is. I just want to know why. What you trying to talk to me for? The guy in charge is over there. I'm just here to collect my overtime. Who the hell let you in? You're a diligent officer up front. <laughs> Figures. Who are you? My name's Gail. I'm a journalism student at... <laughs> Great. A thorn in training. Look, I had a friend... She was murdered last week. A model. Her name was Pam. She was... shot in the face. Ring a bell? Yeah, I was at the scene. So then you don't need me to tell you that this is pretty similar, no? The only similarities were they were both shot, miss. Actually, this is very different. Your friend, I'm sorry to say, it was shot point blank. This guy was taken out clear across the carnival. Same caliber of bullet? Eh, maybe. It's a common one found in rifles. Detective, I think there's a killer on the loose, and I doubt this is the last we'll see of him. You can't just go around saying that. I mean, hell, we just wrapped up the Womb Ripper killings, and now you're saying that some maniac is running around the city with a rifle shooting random people. Because it would be random, wouldn't it? Did your friend and this Mr. Richard Sanchez lying next to me have anything in common? Not that I'm aware of. No serial killer. End of story. <laughs> Unless you can find me proof otherwise. Now beat it. Go chase a story more on your level. Like why my asshole itches on Thursday nights. <laughs> Sniper killer? You mean the guy behind these murders? East 7th Street, 2 a.m. Tonight. What do you know? We will see you then, Miss Jenkins.
Excuse me, miss. Yeah? The name's Comedy. Detective Comedy. I overheard your conversation with my colleague back there. I'm intrigued. Here's my card. Why are you telling me this? I doubt anything we say will keep you away. So, might as well keep in contact with you. If you really do end up finding anything you think we should know about, don't hesitate to call us. All right, I will. Thanks, Detective. Well, looks like you didn't get arrested, so that's good. Hey, you look like you've just seen a ghost. What's up? Are you up for a little ride? Well, considering you're in my van... Yeah, I guess so. Good. I think I might have our first lead. So, this is where they told you to meet them? Yeah. Seems suspect to me. Well, what else am I supposed to do? Not let strange people lure you to a perfect place to be murdered? Go shoot some footage or something. I'll give them ten minutes. If no one shows up, we leave. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Damn. Why is it always so foggy in this city? So who do you think this killer is, anyway? What do you mean? Like, what's his deal? Shooting people for no reason? I wonder what his origin story is. Jesus, Clyde! He's not a comic book character! Like, maybe he's an ex-marine who snapped. Or maybe a hunter who got tired of hunting animals and has turned to... I'm done with this conversation. Gail, behind you! <laughs> Got you good. You jumpy. Hilarious. When your journalism career fails, you should take up comedy. Hey, Gail. You have a handkerchief. Mind wiping this smudge off my lens? Sure, I got it. Clyde! Shit! I've got to get off the street!
shit, shit! This is too much! I need to find a phone and call the police. They take forever to respond to anything in this city. I'll call that Detective Camardi. I still have his card. He seemed really serious. Come on! <laughs> Detective Camardi? Who is this? The killer! He's here with me! I'm on East 7th on the subway platform! Also, something your way. See you soon, Gail. <laughs> 